Bam, how tough it ob obviously without so many scoring weapons was it out there to try to find a game to get enough points on the board, especially to keep up with guys like Curry and Clay? Uh, we've been in situations like this before. Um, we we've had situations where we've been out man, <clears throat> backs against the wall, and we come out with wins. We just didn't get this one. Bam, you talked many times about if the shots are not falling, then the defense sort of kind of goes with that. Do you feel like that's what happened in the second half? Was Golden State doing something specific? Uh, no, I think Clay was just hitting tough shots. Um, him and Steph, down the stretch, they were hitting tough shots. And uh, obviously, you know, those two guys, they generate a lot of attention. So, you know... When you have that much attention on you and you're making shots, it, it allows other guys to get going, you know, get get uh, get their self involved in the game. Ben, we've seen many times over the years where when you guys are shorthanded, you, you kind of have to take on an even greater load, and with that comes some tough shots, tough, tough attempts. Is there a way, just in terms of the overall shot profile and I like tonight, to make it easier on yourself, or are those tough shots really just what's, requir what's required with who's available? Uh, I feel like it depends on the flow of the game. Sometimes you got to go get a tough bucket. Uh, sometimes you might get an easy layup. But, you know, for us it's, and me, it's creating the action, uh, making something happen. Sometimes it's a tough bucket. Sometimes guys are open. Uh, you know, it's just reading the game. Bam, uh, looked like you took a shot to the head there in the first half. Um, your coach wasn't thrilled, I think. <laughs> he said uh, three guys uh, probably should have seen that. Um, then you were down for a while. H how concerned were you at first, and was there any lingering effects in the second half? Nah, uh, I had to make sure I was all right. Um, so that's why I stayed down. I had to make sure, you know, nothing was seriously wrong because, you know, you've seen a lot of guys get hit in the head, and it could be – concussion or, or, or neck strain. Um, for me, it was just really um, depending on I can get up. And then uh, obviously, you know, you got that whisper in the back of your ear. Well, for me, it was my mom to tell me get up. Uh, so <clears throat> shook it off and uh, got back to the game. Fam, you guys were obviously in a similar position last year trying to avoid the play. And what's the level, the sense of urgency, um, you know, with 10 games left and, and how often are you peeking at the standings these days? We take it game by game. You know, I feel like every game at this point is must win. And <clears throat> you, you start to understand it starts to become playoff time. So games start to become different. Uh, even in the, these last 10 in the regular season, the games are starting to slow down. You know, it's going to start become possession by possession because we're not the only team that wants to get out of the play-in. Uh, so you'll start to see that shift. All right, man. Thank you, sir. Black Lives Matter, people. <laughs>